something turned up today that got my attention. Not a particularly exciting case, you might think. It's okay. It's in relatively good condition. 1940s. Not particularly amazing styling. Maybe 50s. Very early plastic handle. So let's have a look inside. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Yeah, pretty basic case. Made a beach. Machine has got uh, paper clip decals. 1930s, 40s, late 40s maybe. But then you look at the model. We've got a manual tension release. We've got a low mounted bobbin winder. We've got a plain end plate. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got a heavy hand wheel and we've got this molded plate on the back now that all doesn't really go together does it because this plate the big hand wheel the low down bobbin winder the manual tension release they're all saying to me singer 28 and they are saying early 28 with this down here and that plate on the back but this case and the decals, they're sent to me 1940s. But we do have a serial number. Let's have a look, see what the serial number is. So there you go, we can get the serial number on there so we can find out from Ismax what that serial number is. So that is a one two seven six eight nine zero let's look that up and see what that is well i just had to get out a torch because when i checked that number it came out very early like 1875 and i thought that can't be right uh, and it turns out i missed a digit there's another digit right on the end which makes it 12 million, not 1 million, and that takes it to 1895. And 1895 is a bit more like I was expecting. So this is a Singer 28 from 1895. But its styling and its case is from the 1940s. So this is a factory refurb. So it is a machine that has been at some point traded in and Singer has taken it back to the factory. They've completely stripped it and rebuilt it from the metal up uh, and then marketed it, marketed it again as, as a refurb. So that's why we have a 1895 machine in a 1940 case with 1940 decals. Quite something. And what a lovely job. I have to say, Singer have done a as good, if not a better job, of refurbing their own machines as I do. So it's very nice to see. It's so clean. Look at the inside of there. It's just beautiful. I don't think this has ever been used since it was rebuilt. But not only clean, it's also very dry. And I think that's why it is not working. It basically has just no lubrication. I love the beach handle on the hand winder. That's very nice.
And the beach case is actually nice. I like the wood. I'm tempted to sand that down, but I haven't been asked to do that. So maybe I shouldn't. So there you go. Quite an unusual machine.